Today, Stan Lee has passed at the age of 95. This will be very short. I can't pretend to be above this. This is uh, very upsetting. He was a man who changed the comic book industry from silly stories about guys in long underwear running around and fighting absurd criminals to stories about heroes who faced actual difficulties, who struggled with the same things that we struggle with. You know, family issues, romantic issues, issues of being torn between your personal feelings and your duty. In other words, stories about true heroes, about nobility, and about serving causes that are greater than your own. There have been many exposés in the past few years that have talked about how Stan Lee you know, misappropriated credit from other creators like Jack King Kirby, and Don Heck, and Steve Ditko because they all were, in the truest possible sense, co-creators of the Marvel Universe. But all that said, Stan Lee, without a doubt, changed the face of comics forever. And he gave us an entire mythology that we have internalized to this day. Spider-Man, Iron Man, the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, Thor, Doctor Strange, the Hulk, all of these, and so, so many more, entered our lives because of Stan Lee. And he laid the foundation for a modern mythology, a mythology that persists to this day, a mythology that permeates our lives in ways that I can't even begin to estimate or account for. There really is, and it's not an exaggeration to say this, there really is no other man that I can think of so incredibly responsible for creating an entire universe. A universe that has meant so much to millions of imaginative kids and angst-ridden teens and intellectual college students and men grown old on those legends. Stan Lee is probably more responsible than any other author for giving me my extensive vocabulary. My grandfather owned a discount bookstore and he would let me just go in and take anything I wanted and I would leave with shopping bags of comics. Comics written by Stan Lee and Stan Lee expanded my world, expanded my imagination, expanded my vocabulary, expanded my mind. And that's a sad, sad thing to me that I will never be able to repay or even meet and thank the man who gave me so much. So, 
This is very personal for me. I had no... I was not blessed enough to have ever met him or seen him. But he reached into my life and made it something that it never would have been without him. So, rest in peace. Stan the Man Lee. Thank you for everything. And I would just ask everyone listening to this to track down an old Stan Lee comic. Anything from the Silver Age, 62, 64, 66. Find it online. If you have it in your collection, just pull it out and read it today. Just reflect on what this world would look like without Stan Lee. He made a difference. And there can be no greater epitaph for, for a man. So I'm going to try to do a live stream tonight. Just to... Have a wake for Stan the Man Lee. I uh, I don't know. It uh, it may be a little too painful, but I. Uh, I will get a grip and hopefully uh, hopefully we will get through it you know try to remember him in a happy way rather than focus on the sadness of his passing that's my hope anyway I'll do the best I can I may have to bail on it early but We'll see. So, from all of us here at the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock saying hail to Stan the Man Lee and Excelsior Stan. You made a difference.